Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to tackle up one very interesting rational equation problem. Equation is x minus 5 times x plus 4 over x whole square plus x plus 5 times x minus 4 over x whole square equal to 4. I will showcase three different methods to solve this problem. So let's get started by writing our method number and domain of the equation. Denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be our solution. I will multiply as x is non-zero. So I can multiply both sides with x square. See what will happen. It will give us x minus 5 times x plus 4 whole square. Denominator x square will be cancelled out. Once you are multiplying both sides with x square. Plus x plus 5 times x minus 4 whole square equal to 4x square. Now I will use substitution. First curly bracket I will consider a. Second curly bracket I will consider b. Let me write here what is a. a is x minus 5 times x plus 4. Expand it x times x, x square minus 5x plus 4x minus x minus 20. Come to b. b is x plus 5 times x minus 4. Expand it, take multiplication. So x square plus x minus 20. Once I will add, I won't get anything useful. So let us subtract this thing. Minus, minus, plus. So you can see left hand side I will write a minus b and what is right hand side x square will be over 20, negative 20 will be over. So minus 2x. If I will take a squaring a minus b whole square then it is giving us our RHS. This value. This is a minus b whole square. Now task is done. Left hand side if you will see it is a square plus b square. And right hand side will become a minus b whole square. So I can write a square plus b square equal to a minus b whole square. So let's apply algebraic formula. a minus b whole square. It is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Cancel this one. Conclusion is 2ab equal to 0 or AB equal to 0 as far as problem solving is concerned. So this will convert our complicated problem into the easy one. Now A is this value x minus 5 times x plus 4. B is x plus 5 times x minus 4. Put this product equal to 0. Let us write here AB equal to 0. This is our A. This is our B numerator only. So I will write x minus 5 times x plus 4. This is a. Now b, I, x plus 5 times x minus 4 equal to 0. So I will write in this order so that I can apply and see also the difference of 2 square formula. So x minus 4 times x plus 4. Now you can see a plus b, a minus b, a square minus b square. So here I will write x square minus 5 square so 25 and from these two a square minus b square a plus b a minus b. So I will write x square minus 16 equal to 0 f dot g equal to 0 that means x square minus 25 equal to 0 or x square minus 16 equal to 0. Take 25 to the right or add 25 to both sides. So x square is equal to 25. Take a square root both sides. x will become plus minus 5. Two solutions. x square is equal to 16. Square root both sides will have plus minus 4. Four real solutions. Plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 plus 5 minus 5. Let us consider method number 2. Method number 2 I will consider our numerator 
let me write this one as x square minus x minus 20. This is our first numerator plus second numerator x square plus x minus 20 whole square equal to 4x square. Now I will use substitution. Let x square minus 20 equal to t. See here it is minus 20 x square minus 20. So first bracket will be t minus x whole square plus second bracket will be t plus x whole square. And keep your right hand side as it is 4x square. So this will give us t square plus x square minus 2tx plus t square plus x square plus 2tx equal to 4x square. Cancel 2tx and minus 2tx. What is left? 2 times t square plus x square equal to 4x square. Divide this equation or cancel like this. 2x square. Now I will take this x square to the right. So coming out t square is equal to x square. Now let us put the substitution value. So I can write in place of t I can write x square minus 20. See it is I will write t square equal to t plus 20. How it is? From this substitution you will write x square is equal to t plus 20. Okay. So in this place you are putting t plus 20. Now this is quadratic in t. So if you will see t square and x square value is t plus 20. Take all the term to one side. Solve for the value of t. Let me write here t square minus t minus 20 equal to 0. So factorization is clear. I can write or you can apply Sridharachar formula minus b. 1 plus minus under the root b square 1 minus 4 ac 80 divided by 2a so 2. 1 plus minus square root 81 is 9. So once you will consider plus sign you will write 10 over 2. You will consider minus sign you will write minus 8 over 2. So it is 5 and minus 4. Let us put the value of our substitution. So t I will put x square minus 20. So let me write here x square minus 20 equal to 5. Let me write here t was x square minus 20. So 5 and here you will write x square minus 20 equal to negative 4. So x square is equal to 25. x will be equal to plus minus 5 using this method and x square is equal to 16 x is equal to plus minus 4 method number 2 is done method number 3 let me write method number 3 what i am going to consider here literally i will expand it a plus b plus c whole square let me write one time our equation it was in the, in terms of a plus b plus c form means if i am expanding let me write here x square minus x minus 20 whole square plus x square plus x minus 20 whole square and this is equal to 4x square. Okay, let's expand a plus b plus c whole square formula. So if I will write in this manner x square minus x minus 20 whole square. See what will happen a square plus b square so let me write a square x power 4 b square x square c square 20 square so i will write 400 plus 2 a b so i will get minus 2 x cube because b is negative plus 2 b c plus 40 x plus 2 c a minus 40 x square second term x square plus x minus 20 whole square Expand it in the same way. You will write x power 4 plus x square plus 400 and then you will get plus 2x cube. 
because of change of one sign minus 40x and then you will write minus 40x square add once you will add you will write here 4x square left hand side and right hand side you will cancel these two terms so let me write here 2 times x power 4 plus x square minus 40x square let me write in this way plus 400 now cancel this 2 or divide this equation with 2 so i will write 2x square is equal to see this is x power 4 minus 39x square plus 400 take all the term to rhs so i will write x power 4 minus 41 x square plus 400 equal to 0 now you can apply sidra char also and if you want to apply factorization method you can do it see the factors of 400 we can consider 25 times 16 and see if i will add both i will get my 41 term so i can split this central term or middle term in terms of factors of 400 so let me write here x power 4 minus 41 x square plus 400 equal to 0 i will write x power 4 plus or better is to write 25 x square minus 16 x square plus 400 equal to 0 now i will take x square common from first two term so x square minus 25 minus 16 common from last two x square minus 25 equal to 0 take x square minus 25 common completely in bracket i will get x square minus 16 equal to 0 f dot g equal to 0 so you will put x square minus 25 equal to 0 so from here you will write x is equal to plus minus 5 and once you will consider x square minus 16 equal to 0 x will come out plus minus 4 i hope all three methods you will find useful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself